Hello and welcome. My name is Amulli and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to show you another progressive web app example. So I just converted this website to progressive web app. That's exactly this one, tubemint.com. And I'm already online, just trying to pull up this website on my Android phone and I'm using Google Chrome as a browser to demonstrate this website also because Google Google Chrome because it it gives you all the features of progressive web apps so this is what happens after converting your website to progressive web app you start getting this banner at the very bottom of the screen if you can see uh, this pulls up the favicon of your website and this is add to main to home screen this text is completely customizable so if I tap on it this will be installed on my Android phone okay so in case if you want to try or uh, or you want to optimize your website for iPhone or iPad there are a lot of other things and some of features are still not compatible on iPhone and iPad so I just added this to my home screen it should be installed in a moment I did not get this message yet okay so it's being downloaded you can see here on the very top the download arrow will just appear disappeared now I should be getting that pop on the very bottom okay here you see notification added to home screen now what I can do uh, I can go ahead and just get out of this browser and if I go offline so I just turned off my mobile data I already have turned off the Wi-Fi so here it is which just got an, uh, sorry installed on my system you can see and when I press on it and hold it you can see I'm getting all the option that I generally get on any native application installed from Play Store Google Play Store the other thing at this moment I would like to clarify is that you do not need to deploy your progressive web app on any app store so like Apple App Store or Google Play Store or Microsoft Windows App Store this directly works from your existing web hosting server so progressive web apps feature are added to any existing websites from the same server on the same server where your website is deployed okay the okay and so you can see you're getting all the options uninstall put it on sleep mode and you also get the app info okay so while I'm already offline if I want to launch and see my website I can go ahead and tap on it and it launches like a native application and I would be able to go and check few of the posts as well so the first one and it loads this content here but it doesn't load this video that you see here because this is from another website tube sorry youtube.com so this is not loading up it's giving me this error over here so this content that you see is loading has already been stored on my device this is why it's loading up I would be able to go back to home screen and try this one as well okay so it's loading pages offline as well so these are few benefits why everybody is promoting progressive web app like Google, Microsoft and other companies as well. 
so now if I go online here we go and if I go back so this is how it works you can uninstall it like just tap on uninstall so this is how you install it and uninstall the progressive web app and this is how it loads offline the other benefit that you get of progressive web app is that you start ranking higher on smart devices so smart devices like android iphone tablet and ipad as well and that's the extra benefit the other benefit is your users get faster page load on their smart devices and this also works very fast loads pages very fast on slow internet connections so that's the main benefit the the only benefit i converted for the only benefit i converted my website to progressive app is basically a uh, I want to rank higher on smartphones. This is just an example. I've converted other websites as well that are already ranking higher on smartphones and tablets as well. So that is it for this video. In case if you need any help, you can leave uh, your questions, your comments in the comment area. If you want to reach me out, you simply go ahead and uh, go to youtube.com and then my my channel as well which is tube mint or you can simply look up for tube mint.com and there from you can get my email address on youtube.com you go to my channel and then you go to about page you can get my email address from there you can leave your comment in the comment area I'll keep checking very often so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel and happy optimization thank you so much bye for now